There's this little guy, super tame. Two of them, little baby coming. No ways. It's literally let me walk right up to him. Not used to this. I mean to say, how's it even? Hello. Hey, buddy. I don't have any food for you. Wow. So cool. I've officially started my high fat diet, which means no nutrition on my runs and training on water only. So this here is a really good high fat option, which I'm going to be eating for the next little while. So I've moved over to a Banting type meal, which I'm probably going to stick to all the way through to the actual concrete 100, some nice avo cheese, um, beef patty with some feta and a slice of tomato. So this here is my Benting burger, good meal option, nice after a hard session. So I'm actually at the Westfall track doing some intervals and uh, I thought I'm definitely going to post this run on Strava. So what's happening at the moment? So Obviously, you guys saw last week was all about recovery. I spent a lot of discipline uh, trying to recover and get my legs back in order. So I'm busy running comfortably now at about 4.45 to 4.30 pace. On a, and usually it's about 5.30 pace comfortable. So it just shows you when you've had a big week, you've rested well, you've recovered, how you're bounced back into intervals or heels or whatever you're doing. You come back with massive strength. So it'll be quite interesting to, if you compare this to some of my other Strava, intervals and runs, you'll see the big difference that's happened. The only reason I had energy in this session was because of the leftover glycogen in my system. How's this for some overgrown trail? I went up with a friend on Thursday to Cathedral Peak to check out a hiking route for our youth group. The plan was to run the 25 kilometer route. My glycogen stores were at zero and during the first two kilometers I knew I was going to be in trouble. When you start running on fat only, your body has had no time to adapt, so you constantly feel like you're at the 30 km wall. Fortunately, we could not find one of the turns and only ended up doing 15 kilometers. Sorry, Christoph. Slow running is good, I promise. So here's my lunch. Some chicken, caked with some salt. <laughs> Avo, salt and pepper, and olive oil. Lovely. During my Sunday 20 km run, I could feel the stable fat energy starting to kick in. My running was still slow. It's going to take me a full three weeks before my speed is back to normal. I'll post some more info on fat adapted running below. If you have any questions about running on or adapting to a high fat diet, please post a comment down below.